Hey YouTube, Random Reviewer 16 here. Today I have the Fujitsu Lifebook U820. Uh, the reason why we're going to do this review is because I put Windows 7 on here and I was interested to see how it would run. Um, before we start, I'd like to show you, for those of you who don't know exactly about the model, the size of the unit. So here we have a regular size paperback and if you put it in front of the device, you can see that it's pretty much basically the same size as a paperback. Um, but this does stick out a little bit. And uh, this is the 4 cell extended battery. Uh, you can get the 2 cell extended battery to make it more flush so that it more appear more like that. But uh, of course, with le uh, less cell batteries, with comes less battery power. Uh, with the 4 cell, it lasts more than 7 hours. And for thickness, to give you guys an idea, it's about the thickness of a quarter. So, okay, so we open up the unit and you'll see a 5.6 inch screen. Um, default settings for the 5.6 inch screen is 1280 by 800. Uh, that's pretty, uh, everything appears pretty small and tiny with that resolution. So I adjusted this display to a little more to, dis to make it more uh, viewable. Um, I don't know if you can see everything. So as you can see, this is running Windows 7. Um, standard specs for this machine is a, uh, Intel Atom, I can tr probably try and show you, but uh, it's a Intel Atom processor Z530 running at 1.6 gigahertz, oh, and press the wrong one, and uh, one gig of RAM and 60 gig hard drive. Um, it also has input, as you can obviously see, uh, a single touch input de device, and I installed. Windows 7 Ultimate. Um, just from what you see right now, you can see it's much speedier um, than Vista, which it comes standard installed. Many users downgraded to XP, but like I said, Windows 7 is less resource of uh, less of a resource hog. So I just wanted to see, and you can see it's running pretty well. Uh, I'm going to start up Firefox. I installed the um, add-on Grab and Drag, so I'll give more of the uh, Flicker feel. Um, started it up. Okay. Okay. So we'll load USA Today. Show you how fast this has. This uh, does have 802.11n as a wireless card. Uh, let's first load up USA Today. As you can see, it loaded up pretty well. Um, we can even click on an article. Let's see this this article here. Oh, it didn't install it. Okay, there we go. So everything seems to be running pretty fast. As I said, the 5.6 screen is pretty nice. The only downside this is an advertisement. So there it is. It's loading the page. Uh, you can scroll by simply dragging and dropping like you would, but it is only single touch, not multi-touch. And uh, I'll even show you how it it is. It will run a flash YouTube video. YouTube. Okay. I'll just click on one. I don't even know what this is. So, we'll try and blow it up. Whoops, video is still loading, but we'll try and drag it back a little bit and play it. It's a little lag, but not as not too bad. It's not bad considering these specs. Okay, let's go escape that. Uh, overall, the experience with uh, Windows 7 on the Fujitsu Lifebook U820 is very enjoyable. The only the the pros I have is its form obviously its form factor. Um, it's a mo mo it's a mobile PC with a full OS that can run everything your desktop or laptop can run. 
Uh, negatives, uh, the 5.6 inch green has, it's kind of glossy. I don't know if you can see any reflection, but that's one negative, especially in direct sunlight. Um, a neg another negative is the keyboard. The keyboard is, I mean, I have a medium sized hand and you can see I'm barely fitting the, uh, the keyboard. So it's better to do maybe two finger typing or if you're really good at, if, small, if you have smaller hands, you might be able to do touch typing. Um, also, when installing Windows 7, all the all the drivers and software seem to install correctly as the light here for, um, night, if you want to use it at night and you can't see the keyboard, you can turn on that button there to turn on the light. So everything seems to work. Um, that was my review of the Fujitsu 8, 820, and I'll see you on my next random review.